now the item that we will uh, the item title or the menu title that we will be using will be inside a expanded widget so that it has a proper spacing uh, after the title so in expanded we have property child and inside the child we will use another widget that is a text widget and inside the text widget we will be using our item title and again we need to convert it into a null null level by giving the exclamation mark and we also need to give it a style so the style that we will be using here is the style property that we declared above so that's pretty much it for this row but we need to uh, give some more decoration to this menu and for that we need to give a styling property here in this text button and simply uh, we will be giving this styling by text button style sorry text button dot we are not getting the text button yeah text button dot style from and in the style from we will use the property foreground color and the foreground color that we will be using for now let's keep it uh, some light color maybe let's give it gray yeah uh, I don't know how it will look with this gray but I think let's keep it gray and see how it looks later later on and accordingly we will uh, make changes so we have here a text button text button has a on press event it has some styling and the child of text button is basically a row and the row has some list of widgets widget uh, the first widget is icon the second widget is basically a blank space uh, for which we are using a width box the third one is widget is expanded inside the expanded we are using uh, the the item title the title of the menu and again there also we are giving some styling and yeah that's pretty much it so for uh, here also we with box we are using for spacing and here also expanded we are using for spacing expanded will be giving space after the title and this width box will be giving spacing between the icon and the title and yeah that's pretty much it so i hope till here the understanding uh, must be having a good understanding of whatever we are doing
till now we have created two classes for creating menus first one was menu item class second one is menu class this menu class is basically using the menu item class to create menus and now we will be using uh, this menu uh, menu class to create menu so for that what we will do is that we will create a list of menus so let's let's create a list uh, just below this title we will create a list variable or, or I should say it's a list constant of type list again of type menu class uh, no I think it should be of menu item class and we can name it menu items now in this list because we have declared it as menu item class so we need to uh, we need to in the uh, we need to use the menu item class constructor and in the menu item class constructor we will be giving the menu name so let's give it some dummy name like menu1 and a icon we can give it a icon say help icon and the last property will be a index so the first index will be zero So let's create some more menu items by just doing a copy paste. Let's keep it till 4 and let's change the indexes. And we need a comma here. We can keep the icon as it is later on we can change the icons as well for now this uh, list of menu item class will work for us now what we have to do is that simply we have to loop through this list and we need to render the menu items so we will be doing it in the we will be doing it in the child of the center which is inside the body so we can just remove this part remember we are using the same skeletal app that was created when we just created uh, the app so everyone has this skeletal app uh, once they create a new flutter application
so inside this uh, child we will declare a center widget and inside the center widget sorry uh, not center widget because already there is center widget we will be using a column widget and column widget has a property children so we will be using the property children remember uh, previously we used rows and there also we had property children and same as rows uh, we can use uh, different widgets inside the uh, as children of this column so let's make flutter know that the children's will be of type widget and uh, now here we will do the looping thing so to do the loops we need to use a specific type of syntax and if you are not familiar with these three dots then these three dots are also used in react native uh, which i would find easy if i like google i object spread operator sorry uh, spread operator simply spread operator yeah so this spread operator is also there in react native and uh, so basically it allows to insert multiple elements into a collection or to assign a values to collections and it is more commonly found inside the column to render its child so that is what we are doing we, we are going to render the child of the uh, columns uh, sorry children of the columns so that's why an object spread operator is being used 